Hello, everyone. My name is Mohammed Abdullah. Uh, I'm a professor of electrical engineering at Sheridan Institute of Technology in Toronto, Canada. Uh, the, uh, I will be presenting this paper that is accepted to the 16th CDIO conference. The co-authors uh, of this paper are Megan Troop. She is with the uh, Center for Teaching and Learning and Amjad Majid. He is the Associate Dean of the School of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. The title of the paper is Framework for an Integrated Learning Block with CDIO-led Engineering Education. Sheridan is a Canadian school. We are in fact in the province of Ontario and precisely within the Greater Toronto Area, also known as the GTA. We have three campuses, one in Mississauga, another one in Brampton, and a third one in Oakville. We roughly have a body of 27,000 students spread over five faculties. Toronto is an important hub in North America. In fact, more technology related jobs were created in the GTA, uh, in the greater Toronto area than in Seattle, New York, Washington, DC, and the San Francisco Bay Area combined. Uh, various multinational companies uh, now have major presence uh, in the city and as a result a lot of uh, opportunities are opening up in engineering. Although this is not an exhaustive list, however some of the areas of cutting-edge technologies uh, in Toronto's engineering sector focuses mostly on machine learning, AI, 5G communications, IoT, and connected and autonomous transportation. As positive as the tech growth in Canada, uh, and specifically in Toronto has been, some challenges have developed. Uh, the first challenge that we identify here is that skills engineers are desperately needed in the tech sector in order to sustain the growth. The second challenge that we want to highlight here is that there is a serious shortage for real world applied engineers uh, that are competent analytically, um, but that are also that also have hands on qualification um, and, and that are capable to hit the ground running once uh, they graduate. Sheridan is one of only five schools in the greater Toronto area, the GTA, that offers a BNG degree. Uh, moreover, Sheridan is only uh, is the only school in the GTA and one of only five Canadian schools alongside um, Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal, Queen's University, uh, University of Manitoba, and University of Calgary that are official uh, member schools collaborating in the CDIO initiative. We specifically focus on skills-based learning, on work-integrated learning, uh, and on problem-solving skills, and certainly on uh, applied research and proof of concepts. As a polytechnic, this gives us an important edge uh, among long established schools uh, in our region. And ultimately, our goal is to produce uh, engineers that can engineer. Although, as a school that focuses on hands on experiential learning, we are well positioned to deliver competent engineers, yet we still have our share of challenges. In particular, despite the typical prerequisite and co-requisite of courses, we still notice that our students fall into the trap of looking at the learning outcome of each course offered in the program map in a standalone fashion. This is a problematic view that could be corrected by deliberately integrating the curriculum of courses in a cohesive learning block, and thus the case for uh, an ILB. At Sheridan, we are trying to innovate in engineering education. This initiative is in fact supported by the leadership of our school, specifically at the School of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. We are experimenting for the first time with an ILB using the CDIO model. The approach is based on instructional scaffolding. In fact, the first year focuses on implementing and operating a, an engineering project that is proposed to students by uh, various faculty members. The second year focuses on designing 
implementing and operating a projects. In fact, they get an option of few projects and they pick the ones uh, of their choice based on first come first serve uh, approach. The third year also follows the same way. So the focus is still on DIO. And in the fourth year, the focus is, is where everything is brought together and students are expected to demonstrate competencies in conceiving, designing, implementing, uh, and operating an engineering project. Uh, in terms of the uh, project themselves, the first project is not at the beginning once they enter into the college, but they in fact begin in the second semester. Uh, and the, the integrated learning block is made by connecting three courses together. The second project is in term four. The third project is in term six. And the final capstone project is in term seven and eight. In terms of engineering design complexity, uh, it, I think it goes without saying that as it moves from year one to two to three to four, the engineering design complexity uh, augments. In terms of the, the size of groups, based on discussion within the department, we found that it is much feasible to have smaller groups in the first two years uh, and slightly bigger groups in the, net, in, the, in the third and fourth year. So three students per group uh, in the first and second and four students per group in the third and fourth year of their studies. The first two years focuses mainly on applied learning and the second two years uh, focuses on applied research. In fact, in the first two years, uh, the, the, the focus is mainly on scaffolding. In other words, learning as written there, learning supports and aids are put in place in order to allow students to gradually absorb the fundamentals of courses. In the second two years, the aim is to remove the scaffolds and a steady removal of instructional scaffolding, paving the way for creative design solutions. In terms of project uh, collaboration, the first two years, the projects are proposed by faculty members. In the third and uh, fourth year projects, they are uh, proposed through a close consultation with industrial partners. The paper offers a more nuanced explanation of our approach in integrating three engineering courses within a semester at Sheridan. Uh, and therefore, if this is um, uh, of interest to you, we invite you to go uh, have a look at the paper. It is available on the CDIO website. Um, also, as a corresponding author, if you have any questions, uh, I would be happy to, to receive your emails uh, for questions and inquiries. Overall, uh, in this paper, we proposed a systematic framework for implementing and managing an integrated learning block with three engineering courses within a semester. We also outlined a strategy for applying this framework using instructional scaffolding based on CDIO competencies. Uh, furthermore, we discussed topics related to ILB formation, including course selection. In other words, how do we ensure that we select three courses uh, within a semester that would form a block? Group harmonization. Once uh, groups of three students or four students are formed, how do we ensure that they can work together in a productive way? with minimum um, conflict between them. Uh, the third item that we discussed was project complexities, how to select projects uh, and how complex should they be so that our students have the necessary toolkit to, to go ahead and, and embark in these projects. We also uh, assessed industrial collaboration and when industrial collaboration should be included with a project and formative and summative assessments, including rubric design. 
We also identified open research questions that we would like to explore. Thank you for your attention.